going on weight loss plan without tracking your progress is like stumbling aimlessly in the dark. You simply do not know if you are doing well or if you need to make any changes. One of the ways to track your progress is through weighing in. Body weight will fluctuate. For some people, this might be a source of undue anxiety. Along with weighing in, photographs taken from the front, side and behind, shirtless or in a bathing suit, taken once a month are a must. Along with, of course, body measurements. These measurements are done once a week. Tracking your progress using all these three metrics will give you a larger picture. We will be measuring the following. Neck, chest, upper arm, forearm, waist, hips, thighs and calves. So let's get right into how you should use your tape measure to track your weight loss progress. Simple tape measure. I prefer using the centimeter side. And we might as well start the neck while we are at it. I got an Adam's apple. Women don't have one, so A about this region. Hold your measurement and note it down. Next we go to our chest. Get this under, get the tape under the armpits. Get the tape under the armpits and not too tight. Okay, and take your measurement and jot it down. Be careful not to flex. You don't want to flex your back or your chest while taking your measurement. Similarly, for your arm, somewhere in the middle of the arm where the bicep is the thickest. Again, don't flex it. You want it to be relaxed. And this is a little bit difficult doing with one hand. Arm has to be straight. See the area more or less. It is important that you measure the same area every time you measure. Ideally, you won't take the measurements once a week. Then your forearm, the thickest part of the forearm, which would be A here. There you go. And note that down. Similarly, of the waist. A waist, I'm going to take one right at the level of the navel. Now my navel is here. I'm going to take it right over here. Make sure this is straight all around and not dead down. Then we are going to come down exactly two inches below the navel. Navel here, two inches below the navel. And note that down. Next, we move to the thigh. Thickest part of the thigh is A about here. Again, be careful not to flex it. And then we measure the calves. Don't make fun of my puny calves. Thickest part of the calf, which will be here. Note that down. Another time, another day. And I just realized that I forgot to show you how to measure your butt. So here goes. Take your tape again and put it across the broadest part of your butt. How would you describe it? For me, it would be A here. I don't have much of one, so. And record your measurement. I hope this helped you. Like, subscribe, signing out. Dr. Rohan Fonseca.